Hello everybody and uh, welcome to number two in Improve Your Computer Speed. Uh, I did post the number one a couple of days ago uh, and I got a response from someone called Mr. Lepton uh, and he suggested about the task scheduler which is very similar to MS Config. Uh, so I thought I'd put this video out there just explaining what task scheduler is uh, and just how you use it. Uh, and again it's a very useful way of helping your computer just run a bit faster by organizing which things are running. Um, so task scheduler, uh, we go to start, all programs, uh, accessories, system tools, and then task scheduler. Uh, and then task scheduler will load up and I am not recording my entire screen. So let me just get the, the whole thing in here, there we go. Um, and the thing you want to be looking at, uh, if we just move these ones up, uh, is this active tasks section. Um, and these are all the tasks that will run uh, at any point throughout your computer's lifetime. Um, so this is more than just startup. There are some startup things in here, but there's some things that run constantly throughout the day. And you can see when things are running, what they are, and what location they're in, uh, in this section here. Now there's a few of mine that I want to get rid of. One of them in particular, Binky Land. Uh, I think that's like a search engine or some stupid stuff like that that got installed as part of a package with something at some point. So I want to stop that from running because at the moment, every hour, it's running a check on Binky Land. Uh, and I don't want it to be doing that. So basically what I'm going to do is just going to double click on this. Uh, it's going to bring through all of the tasks that are in that directory. Uh, so I've got a few in here because this is just the kind of general one that's quite a lot of things going. Uh, I've got some Flash Player update. Uh, uh, I've got some uh, Google update stuff. Uh, so I'm going to click on the Blinky Land one uh, and I'm going to get rid of these two because I've, I've literally I've uninstalled this program. If we go onto my start menu and go into here, uh, then shouldn't be anywhere to be seen uh, it, it literally wasn't installed um yeah so I, I i'm not quite sure why it stays in there and uh i'm not really approving of of binky land as, as a thing um it, it's basically it adds stuff into your browser but yeah it, we, we don't want it so we're going to right click on here uh we're going to right click uh, and then I'm going to go to either disable, which will just stop it. Status disabled. Uh, I'm actually going to delete it because I don't even want to even see this again ever. So I'm going to delete them. Uh, sometimes you want to disable them temporarily. Uh, if you're not quite sure whether you should, then it might be worth disabling them. Um, so this one, don't really know what that is. Uh, it's got a weird name. So I might want to go to disable. Uh, and then if that ever breaks anything, then I just need to come back here and enable it again. Um, similarly, Lily, uh, you can go into property and triggers uh, and you can edit the actual triggers. So uh, repeat every one hour. So every hour I'm doing Adobe Flash Player. So let's just edit that uh, and come into here. Uh, and then I'm going to take off that repeat task every one hour because I don't want to be checking Flash Player every one hour. Uh, and we can't do it for uh, less than one hour. So I'm just going to do it daily uh, and I'm going to check it for there. Uh, I'm going to press OK uh, and OK. Uh, and then I've changed that then to run once every day. Uh, and again, I'm going to change this one. Triggers. Uh, edit. Oh, going very slowly all of a sudden. I don't know why that is. Uh, and then we're going to go to. So it does it at log on and then repeat task every 210 minutes, uh, which I'm not on board with. So let's just do it. Um, let's change it from log on to on a schedule. Daily, recur every one days, uh, and let's just put it in at 1041, why not? Uh, and then press OK. 
Okay. So now rather than things running every hour, and again, Google update task machine uh, is going to be running every every single hour of the day, which it doesn't need to do. They don't release updates that often, and I sure as hell don't care about updates that often. So uh, anyway, if we go back onto this one, then we can go back to all of them, and we can just browse through, uh, and we can look at all of them. We can just look at the triggers uh, and change them to be whatever we want them to be. Generally, programs will choose what they want it to be when they install themselves, uh, but quite often you don't need it to be doing it that much. It's just that you know they want to keep their software up to date in case they add in something that uh, kind of is going to make them more money. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for this. Uh, if you have your own suggestions for how you can speed up your computer, please drop them in the comments below. Much appreciate them. Very much appreciate this one from uh, Mr. Lepton. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, and uh, please like and subscribe.